Hello friends, in this video, let's see how can we make an image bling. So first from image navigator, I'm selecting a motor image and placing it on the front panel and I'm adjusting its size as we like. And then on the front panel, I'm doing a right click and here from boolean, I'm selecting a boolean round LED and placing it on the front panel. This round LED will also get placed on the block diagram screen. And then again I am going to image navigator, here I am clicking on options. So symbol options window will get open. Here I am choosing fill color mode as shaded and on fill color we can choose the color we like. I am choosing green color and then I am clicking on ok. So that our motor image has turned to green color. And now I am dragging and placing this motor image also on the front panel. And next we are going to customize these two motors into this boolean round LED. So first we have to do a right click on this boolean LED and here under advanced if we click on customize as usual a front panel with this boolean round LED will get open. As we all know we are going to customize this boolean round LED in this front panel. So after setting this front panel to customize mode I am dragging and placing the first motor image which has to be imported into this LED on the front panel again bringing back the front panel to edit mode I am doing a right click on this motor image and selecting copy to clipboard I am doing a right click on this boolean LED and if I click on import picture from clipboard this motor image will get imported to the false condition of the LED so after importing we can delete this motor image which we have placed on the front panel and next Again bringing back this front panel to customize mode. We can see a boolean LED which is in one condition. And next I am dragging and placing this second motor image which has to be imported to this LED on the front panel. And after setting this front panel to edit mode, I am doing a right click on this motor image and clicking on copy to clipboard. And I am doing a right click on this boolean LED and if I click on import picture from clipboard this motor image will get imported to this boolean led so now we have imported both the motor images for the true and false condition of the boolean led then i am deleting the motor image which we have placed then to remove the boolean label on the imported motor image i am setting this front panel to edit mode and then i am doing a right click on this image and under visible item if i unselect label this boolean label will disappear then i am saving this front panel by naming it as motor and then if i close this front panel as usual a pop up message appear asking whether to replace original control boolean with motor control if we click on yes and here if we give save the boolean led on the main front panel will get replaced with the motor and then I am deleting these two motor images which we have placed on the front panel from image navigator. And then for continuous execution on the block diagram screen, I am placing this boolean round LED inside a while loop. And to give stop condition to this while loop, I am connecting a control to this red button. And next, I am adding a shift register to this while loop. In our previous videos, we have already seen about shift register. As we know, shift register will carry the values from current iteration to the next iteration. To the left side terminal of this shift register, I am connecting a true constant. Then I am placing a NOR gate inside the shift register. I am giving the left side terminal of the shift register as input to the NOR gate. And I am connecting the output terminal of the NOR gate to the right side terminal. And then I am placing an AND gate inside this loop. I am connecting the output of this AND gate to the boolean round LED. To one of the input terminal of the AND gate, I am connecting the output from NOR gate. And next on the front panel, I am placing a boolean push button. So this boolean push button will also get placed on the block diagram screen. I am connecting this boolean push button to the other input terminal of the AND gate. With this boolean push button we are going to give on and off condition to the motor. So now I am running this program by pressing run button. So while the program is executing if we switch on the boolean push button the motor will blink. With this we can indicate a motor which is in on condition. To make this program to execute with certain delay I am placing a wait function inside this loop. Then I am connecting a constant to it and giving 500 millisecond. So now if we run this program, this program will be executing with 500 millisecond delay. And, 
and if we switch off the boolean push button the motor will not blink this indicate that the motor is not running that is the motor is in off condition then again if i switch on the boolean push button the motor will start blinking continuously with some delay this shows that the motor is in on condition so in this video we have seen how to represent the motor's condition using blink in our next video we can continue with next topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you